Yeah. She's just from the East Coast, not like Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Joe fixed my goat house and he cut it down and made it shorter because the bottom was rotting. I wanted to do it, but I was not strong enough and neither was me and Jesse for what had to be done. And it would have been more, it would have been too dangerous. <laughs> but we cut down the bottom and yeah, he had to lay it down to get to it. So that's okay though. I think it looks fine. We used to be able to just walk through here. It had a door opening and now you can see how high I am. He used to be able to walk through the door too. Now he has to duck and go in there. But we salvaged this. Otherwise this would have been in the trash because the whole bottom was rotted and it was just falling apart. And now it's stable. It used to be a chicken coop. That's why there's the nesting boxes. But see that? And then we put it on these stepping stones that way it wouldn't be touching the ground and rot out like it did before I don't know why they like to go in those <laughs> Charlotte came to say hi to you you see how she looks like she's gaining weight right here she looks a little thicker she's yeah like nothing in the middle yeah she's still skinny right here when you look on top but you can see her belly's filling out here yeah. and her hip she's walking on her leg a lot more you guys keep calling her Charlotte, isn't she? Charlotte. This is Charlotte. We got rid of me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then you can see right here where the hematoma was, and I cut her. It's completely flat and gone now. Well, there's a little, little lump, but it's healing really nicely. <laughs> she sure is a fighter. <laughs> Pretty goat. Do you remember her nickname I gave her? Sassy? Yeah. No, what? Look at her. More. More. She's fat. Come on, Charlie. <laughs> Alright, come on, all you. How we put these salt blocks on top of these stepping stones. That way they're not just in the ground rotting away. And now they'll be here and they look nice, neat, and clean next to their water. We are getting ready to dehorn the goats and we're doing a different method since some of the goats' horns are too big to carterize. So what we're gonna do is band the horns. We've done this before, it totally works. It just takes a little bit longer, but it beats having a goat's head getting stuck inside of the fence and then having a dog come and attack it and kill it, which is what happened to one of our bucks. So we're gonna dehorn a few of them, including Sassy, who is my really mean goat. That way she cannot hurt any of the goats anymore with her horns. However, she will not return to the herd. If anything, she will live with a buck. And that'll be how her life plays out just because she's not safe, but she gives really good milk, is a good milker, good on the stand, good with us. She just doesn't like other goats. So I think she'll be happier this way. Seems a little sad, but at the same time, she does not seem to mind it. I mean, she's over there grazing. We let some of the other goats in yesterday while we were trying to work on this little house here. And she attacked all of them. <laughs> so they took them out. Sorry, no. So they took her out of that side and just let her in here while they worked on this house because she left them alone. It didn't really matter. This is Sassy's baby. Her name is Snow White. She's got a little bit of Sassy's attitude, but not as bad where she keeps on hitting and being aggressive with the other goats. She just will move them away and I guess compete to be dominant and then she's done. But Sassy over there will just keep attacking them. She used to be so, a lot wider. Yeah, she's dirty right now. So I'm going to dehorn her. And I'm going to dehorn my breeding buck right there. I decided to call him Sugar Daddy. <laughs> and then we're going to dehorn Sassy. I think those are the only three ones here that have horns still. We tried using the bigger ones that are for the cows, but it was too big. Too big. 
sorry. I'm gonna slide that down and put it down there. And what this is gonna do, it cut, cuts off circulation up the horn and it just dies and starts falling off. It does bleed still a little bit when it comes off completely, but it's not a ton and it's not crazy. Unless you pull it off yourself. And we did it to that goat right there, to big fat horns. I just rolled this on to this device. This is also used to band, band male bucks and so you can castrate them. Over tight. Good job. So all these, all those new goats we got, go. all those new goats we got are all from a different family. No. So these can bust, and they also can go too high where it doesn't work. You can see the difference here, where the fur starts meeting the horn. That's kind of where you want to be at the base, so that when it falls off, it is a clean cut. And okay, you he's done. They sit there while well, they're. You also want to make sure you check on the goats when you do this because, like I said, the bands can break. They can slide to the wrong spot. So just be sure you check them every couple of days. That way, if you have to put another one on, you don't lose time and the horn doesn't start healing itself. And that way, you, if you really want to dehorn your goat, you can do it and you can do it right. Next. I stepped on it, I think. Are we at the base? Right there. It just oh, up. rolled up. Place it out. I hope it rolled up again. Okay. I'll, I need you to move your hands for a little way. Let him up a second. That's good. Yeah. I'm put that one on the other side. Yep. We're going to switch off this green one too. Okay. The lady we bought these from, she said she took the goats in to be dehorned, but that when the vet got to this one, he was like, his horn base is too big. We're not going to be able to do it. And they were only three weeks old at the time. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, See, I, know I can't do this one-handed. So. All right. All done. We had Jeremiah bring us some treats for him, so he's not super mad at us and associates us with good things still. Over here. Come over here with them. Look at what he made. <laughs> made You're going to be a vet? I'm a sh I have Are you going to be a vet? I have a shot. Like, Sorry, goat. Turn down. I have shot. Well, this is sassy. Yay. So You're not allowed to touch my horns. Last time they butchered them. <laughs> we went to the vet and the vet cut off her horns. I have a video of that and I'll share that with you in the link over here. Um, the but popped off that one. Yeah, the cat popped off of this one, but when they cut it, they cut it really crooked, and she looked wonky and stupid. Did you get it? No, I didn't. Okay. Got you wrong. Too slippery. If I can get it to pull. That's why she moves, because you're trying to pull it. Scratched her. There, too, so she can't drop it down. There you go. Oh, she's got a scratch now. Oh, well. She'll survive. Hold her. Just a minute, Jeremiah. All right, I think we got these She'll on. She'll probably get them off once she rubs her head on something. Yeah, we'll but. have to see. I took her. She's All right, we got her banded. Could not show y'all because I had to help and be careful also. So now we're gonna kick her out of this area. But we did this without having her in a squeeze chute or anything. She's gentle, she's a Jersey. We milk her and handle her. So this was okay. 